Hey guys, Marcus Katkin back with another Daily Fantasy update. Uh, a lot of news actually for tonight's game, uh, Buccaneers, Falcons, uh, a lot of news. So hopefully this gets to you in time. Hopefully you're subscribing to my videos that you're getting these right when they come out. But uh, obviously the biggest news of this game is Bobby Rainey has been named the starter for this game. Uh, I guess there's some speculation out there that Lovey Smith and company are saying that they are not completely tied to Doug Martin and they kind of like uh, Bobby Rainey much better as, as kind of proven here by him starting. And now they're actually even saying that Doug Martin playing tonight probably won't have many plays for him. Uh, so it's sounding really bad on the Doug Martin front. Hopefully you don't have too many shares of him and hopefully, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, when he, last week when he was out, you backed him up with Bobby Rainey so that you're still getting this really great matchup tonight. You know, Bobby Rainey, Falcons, Falcons are the worst defense against opposing running backs, so this is all good news for Bobby Rainey owners. Next up, we got Roddy White. Uh, he's actually not expected to play tonight, so uh, kind of downgrade Matt Ryan a little bit, but probably upgrade Julio Jones. I think Julio Jones will be heavily involved, obviously, in this passing game. And maybe as a deep sleeper or maybe a daily fantasy play, uh, look for uh, Levine Toilolo, uh, good red zone target for them, so we could see what develops there. And then finally, just a real quick note that I wanted to say about Vincent Jackson. I've seen a lot of people really down on Vincent Jackson uh, because of the slow start that he's had so far this year. In one of my leagues, I actually saw Vincent Jackson flat out get dropped in a 10-team PPR league. Guys, don't overreact. It's only been two weeks. I actually expect huge things from Vincent Jackson this week. I have him as my number six wide receiver. A couple of things I wanted to point out. The Falcons cornerbacks, they're actually allowing, allowing over 20 yards per reception to opposing wide receivers this year. And Vincent Jackson, historically, has just gone off against the Falcons. Uh, last year, in his two games he played against them, he combined for 20 receptions, 303 yards, and three touchdowns. Those are huge numbers. Uh, if you have Vincent Jackson this week, he is a must start. And I have him in a lot of my daily fantasy leagues. Uh, I just think he really goes off this weekend, so keep that in mind. Don't forget to subscribe below to get my daily fantasy updates every day as soon as they come out. And follow me on Twitter, at Marcus Katkin.